You know, certainly another huge loss in the music world. One of the things we did want to briefly talk about is some of the medical complications that were thought to be involved. Manager for the Eagles, Irving Azoff, told the publication The Wrap that the colitis and pneumonia were side effects from all the meds. He died from complications of ulcer and colitis after being treated with drugs for his rheumatoid arthritis, which he had for over 15 years. Before we talk a little bit about his legend, um, we wanted to discuss this because I, I think he, he, he meant in that ulcerative colitis, right. not ulcer and colitis. But it also, to me, highlights something that anytime a famous person dies, whether they're, they're a musician, politician, actor, everyone wants to know why. Right. And I always say be cautious because whoever's providing the information, it could be incredibly inaccurate. And in many ways, when we should be celebrating someone's life, we end up getting focused on all these details that are a little bit murky. And, yeah. and you know, I'm reading these statements and I'm thinking this doesn't all make very much sense. And, and even the, the, the illnesses described don't make sense. Right. Um, and I think also it, I struggle with it because of the roles that we play in kind of distilling down medical information in the media we try to use these circumstances, even when they're tragic, as an opportunity for learning and education, which is, you know, celebrities do all the time when they have a medical issue, but it never sits well with me because I always feel like even after the person's gone, we're violating that sacred patient confidentiality. It's this element of voyeurism. You know, he's gone. That person was not his physician. We're not his physicians. And yes, we want to bring awareness to conditions, but I think respecting the individual is so important. And I, I struggle with that. I, I agree. Really and then when, when you start hearing comments like rheumatoid arthritis medications caused his death, right. and anyone out there who may be on those medicines thinks, oh, what's yeah. going to happen to me? And I think it's important. When you talk about rheumatoid arthritis, it is an autoimmune condition. And in autoimmune conditions, your body's immune system attacks itself. And so sometimes medicines are given to tamp down your immune response. Theoretically, that can increase your risk, right. depending upon the medication you're on, of infection. And there are other medicines that you can take in any class that cause side effects. Sure. But, but to make jumps like that is, it can be very misleading. Um, and, and no one really knows. And I think it's important that at the end of the day, the only people that really know are family doctors, and, and that's the way it should be. And, and also, remember, you rarely, can you think of a time where we've heard the celebrity's personal physician issue a statement after death? I can't. You know, usually, if you don't hear from the person or their physician, there's a reason for that. They want to keep that information private. And yes, it's difficult when you're, a, you know, a public figure, a celebrity. But at the end of the day, this is an individual. When we talk about people, uh, we try to keep it general because, again, we're doctors first. And that patient's privacy is always paramount, or at least it should be.